being a student startup it was very much difficult uh, for us in the terms of experience that we had because uh, coming from a student background and suddenly jumping into this industrial area and into robotic industry it was very difficult for us in the first place so uh, there were many uh, many factors many very sec many sectors where we had to uh, put in make it may to take a decision uh, that would actually predict or uh, decide the future of our company so came up on a strategy where we would uh, where we would identify an expert in this particular area ask them whether this is viable or not and, or ask them to mentor us if they say yes it's a, a benefit i mean like it's a good thing for us and we we'll be able to put a good uh, effort and provide good products for the uh, customers we are giving a product uh, which is called robat which can promote fmcg products on shelves uh, of supermarket so while we interacting with the robotic industry we have identified that uh, there are some uh, lot of pain points in the retail industry at the point of sales to promote their product from market survey uh, we have identified that uh, they need this product so from that point we have tried to uh, develop the first prototypes we have uh in uh, improve our products by enhancing and by enabling lot of features on that uh, then we have reached the current robot uh, which can serve any brands for their uh, marketing purpose funding related issues being a hardware startup to prototype to put in the mvp in the market in the first place all those things requires funding so coming from a student background we had difficulties in raising funds in the first place so that's where uh, we got uh, grants and uh, aids from the government and uh, startup uh, mission schemes like that so that's where we could uh, step into this industry and build our product from there uh, currently robad is deployed in um, five major cities in india uh, just like kochi bangalore chennai hyderabad uh, mumbai so we have offering this products to the major brands like uh, wipro bauli um, ead pari murugappa group and id fresh double holes uh, around 15 uh, we are serving for around 15 plus brands all over india our startup was uh, founded by four co-founders uh, we are college mates and our friends and we have co-founders mr kristo kollanur rahul vinson and bonsto wilson kristo agis and we have a 12 member team uh, which include our core uh, core team and we have one mr rajesh malamal he was our mentor and currently he is working as chief growth officer of the company we are trying to reimagine the retail industry by enabling technology like ai iot robotics follow your passion uh, decide what uh, what would be the best for you but uh, the thing putting a reality check in uh, deciding before what to do i would say you would uh, you would need this sort of experience uh, by, by working in a company you are not starting uh, your company to just to be a startup you have to scale up uh, to a point where this com- becomes an enterprise so you have to get get some experience and put a reality check before doing everything make sure that your idea is feasible it's uh, economic economically viable in the market